end family separations while still maintaining zero tolerance toward illegal immigration, but it may not be working or even close to working. Yesterday, the head of the Border Patrol said his agency has stopped referring adults for criminal prosecution if they cross the border with minors. Meanwhile, thousands of families and unaccompanied minors continue to arrive at the border, overwhelming our ability to even process them. Senator Ron Johnson of Wisconsin chairs the Senate Homeland Security Committee. He joins us tonight. Senator, thank you for coming on. So well, any president can issue an executive order. The question is, can you make the agencies, the bureaucrats, carry it out? And I think the question that many of us have is, are the many bureaucrats working for this administration in sync with his policy priorities? Are they actually trying to curb illegal immigration into this country, do you think? Well, they are they are forced to follow the laws of this country. And that's part of the problem is we have laws that really uh, prohibit us from uh, being able to prosecute the people coming to this country illegally and keep the family units together. We, we don't have the capacity in terms of beds. And so we do have to follow the laws and it's the laws, it's the legal precedents, it's the loopholes that have really created this mess. And that's what Congress needs to fix. So it sounds like the laws are 100% weighted on the side of foreign citizens breaking our laws yes. against the interests of American citizens who run this government and pay for it and on whose behalf it exists. Is that correct? Pretty much right. We, we have, for example, the Feinstein Amendment in a human trafficking law was the one that said that, you, that DHS can only hold, CBP can only hold a child for 72 hours. Then we have to turn that child over to HHS. And of course, HHS has no capability of deporting those children. And so those children, the ones that have come in about more than 200,000 have come in since 2012, kind of sparked by DACA. Uh, those children, 96.5% of those are still in this country. And that's just reality. And so that fuels additional unaccompanied children from Central America. And then the way we handle family units under President Obama, because, again, you, you can't keep the children with adults if you're going to prosecute them, put them in adult detention facilities. So you also have to separate those children. And as a result, the Obama administration kept the families together, and that was called catch and release. And if we do not detain right. people coming to this country illegally, they don't show up for hearings, and it's impossible to deport them. So we have had this flood. It's Tucker, it's been about 900,000 people minimum coming into family units and unaccompanied children from Central America since 2012. 900,000. We have 3,300 beds in certified, you know, family detention facilities. We got about 40,000 beds for adults detained. We've got 900,000 coming in here since 2012. So we simply don't have the capacity. So I'm not a progressive, so I don't assume that everyone I disagree with is evil. I think there have got to be some Democrats who see this crisis for what it is, a crisis that hurts the country. Are you familiar with any legislation sponsored by Democrats on the Hill, backed by Democrats on the Hill, that would address this crisis meaningfully? Any? I'm, I'm really not because they, by and large, want open borders. But we do know it works. Michael Chertoff, when he was Secretary of Homeland Security, faced a similar crisis in 2005 when we had a, an influx of Brazilians coming in, about 31,000 in 2005. He instituted a, a policy of apprehending, processing, and returning them to, to Brazil very quickly called Texas Hold'em. And within a year, that number was down to 1,400. Within three years, it was below 1,000. So we found out through that process that rapid deportation, returning those individuals that don't have valid asylum claims, actually discourages further illegal immigration. We've done the exact opposite during the, the uh, Obama administration. Then when President Trump tries to enforce the law, he, f he finds out that they're just legal precedent as well as a lack of capacity to actually do it. Exactly. When you enforce the law, people are more likely to obey the law. I mean, duh. What a concept. Sen Senator, thank you. Yeah, what a concept. I appreciate it. Good to see you. Have a good night.